I had a very tricky situation on my way to Likoni. Whoever doesn't understand Mombasa, from the highland you have to cross the ocean using the ferry. So I saw people run. Then I wondered, why are these people running? So there was a lady beside me. I asked this lady, why are these people running? The, the lady never responded. She just looked at me and smiled. Go see Africa. Let us show Africa out there. But you know, uh, people of Mombasa are so fond of calling us what to a bar. I, I, didn't, I never wanted to appear uncivilized. So I minded my own business. I'm so good at that. Now, uh, there is a gate between the island and the ferry. See, there is a guard who was coming to open that gate. They push the gate open, run into the ferry. The, the ferry is not going anywhere. It's still waiting for you and it still it accommodates everyone on site so i'd like to know why do you guys behave like that I know some of us have never boarded a ferry. Whenever you get to the ferry, we have the upper decker and the lower decker. I'm so fond of going to the upper decker, so I started filming. Some guard no noticed me. So they waited until the time we were lighting. The guy arrested me. Yeah? I never wanted to confront with them, so I agreed to delete my videos. I still had a backup. Do you think I'm so stupid to just go filming anywhere without having an idea on how to recollect the videos just in case someone deleted them? Yeah? And by the way, do you have any regulation barring anyone from filming at the ferry?
lighting, people are still running. Where do you guys run to? You know, whenever you're talking to someone in Mombasa, whenever the residents of Mombasa are doing anything, they do it, they do it so sluggishly. Everything they do is so slow. But when it comes to getting to the ferry and uh, alighting from the ferry, they always run. Why do you guys run to? But you know, I cannot uh, stand there and ask why people are running. So, I went to the uh, Machado terminals there. I picked a tuk tuk, headed to Shelly. Now my, my agenda was to go to Shelly and do some filming there, but guess what my first impression was? The beach was so packed, yeah? I could not even get the courage to change and swim. So I just sat there, I talked to friends here. We had some arrangements. So for your information, there is a documentary I'm supposed to go shoot there. So we talked and I left. I never wanted to stay there anymore. I can't imagine getting into the ocean and swimming with kids. <laughs> Nairobi, we're not used to that. We don't do, we don't do that. And you know, my goal is to talk uh, more about Africa. Imagine whereby I'm getting to the beach, then showing people how I'm swimming with kids. How does that appear? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm at the beach, though I'm not swimming. Today the weather is not so conducive, man. You know in Nairobi we don't we don't swim so regular. Even taking shower is not that compulsory. I'm still on my shoe. Yeah, I feel the way it was. I'm not yeah. swimming today. Look at the ocean. Look at the ocean. 
I still have a date with the people of Shelly Beach. So, leave a comment there. Do I still go back? How was it? Just comment about the population you saw at the beach. Is that the kind of population you are used to? The kind of beaches you go to? How are they different from this one? Now subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Please don't forget to share this video. Goodbye.